What's up ninjas, today we're going to be talking about Glocks, specifically the Glock 23, and why I think it is the most versatile Glock, and the only Glock you should own. So that being said, let's get right into it. Clear. So the Glock 23 is a 40 caliber, essentially a 40 caliber Glock 19, if you want to look at it that way. It has the compact grip. Whereas the 17 is the full size, this is a Glock 45, which is essentially a Glock 19 slide on a Glock 17 frame. So we have the full size grip on this one. And I'm also going to be doing a separate video on why this is better than the 19X. So we'll do a video on that later on. But let's get back into the 23. And why I think this is the best overall Glock is because the ability to switch out the barrel for a 9mm barrel. So obviously, switching out a barrel is fairly simple. Uh, see if I can do this faster than the ATF expert with gloves on too. So just swap your barrel out. You can get a conversion barrel. A number of different companies make them. I actually had one in my Glock 27 and I was running nine millimeter in that for the longest time. So one other thing that you'll have to switch out and some people say you don't have to, but it's just going to increase your reliability if you want to convert your Glock 23 to 9mm. That is the ejector. So on the 40 cal, it's pretty much straight. Whereas on the 9mm, you can see that it kind of curves inwards right there. So a Glock 19 ejector is not that much money. Even for an OEM one, I think it might be under $10. So another reason why I would choose the Glock 23 over something like a Glock 17, a 45, 19X, something with a full-size grip is because, no statistics to back this up by the way, but Glock 19 is probably one of the most popular and most commonly owned handguns. So with the Glock 19, Glock 23 style, you can accept 19 mags and 17 mags as well as anything longer than that. Whereas with the 17 frame, the full size frame, you have the 17 mags, right? 19 mags won't fit. So you're limited to essentially one type of magazine unless you wanna run like a 33 round or something like that. Now, there is another option that I don't have on the table, but the Glock 26, 27, I did have one, but I ended up getting rid of it and got this. So a Glock 26 and 27 is going to run any magazine besides like the 43, 43X style. The only problem I personally have with the Glock 26, 27 is my pinky will just hang off the edge and I don't really like that. Now you can get X grips or an X, like the little pinky handle that's on your mag, but when I had mine, it... I don't know, I just didn't like it. It wobbled too much. Now, I will say the P365 XL grip, it's about as long as the 19 or 23s, which is nice. So you get a much thinner package, but you also have the luxury of having a double stack. So 15, 17 round mags. Standard, it came 12. But I did just get the 17 round X macro mag, so it extends it just a little bit. But yeah, I just kind of want to talk about the Glock 23 and its versatility over any of the other Glocks. So basically the pros are it's very easy to switch out the barrel and ejector and turn this basically into a Glock 19. Similar with how I did with my Glock 27. But you also get the longer grip instead of having your pinky hang off the edge with the 26 or 27. Or having to use one of those little magazine butt plate adapters. For what I was doing at the time... I would run a Glock 19 mag with a little X grip adapter. But even then, it still wobbles around. This is a factory Glock mag. So my pinky would always kind of push it backwards and it would wobble around and it just wasn't very comfortable. If I only had to have one Glock, I would definitely have the Glock 23. But for me personally, um, the Glock 17 grip just feels better in my hands. You have the compactness of the Glock 19 on a Glock 17 frame, which is why I love the Glock 45. 
And that will segue us into the next video, why the Glock 45 is a better option than the Glock 19X. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the Glock 23. What do you think about it? What is your ideal Glock? And that's going to be it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.